Mix Tech here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Stadia on a kind of low budget. So I've already logged into Stadia. It was pretty easy. So now I can just go to stadia.com. Enter. And it's loading. So then I see my Stadia logo here. It redirects me to stadia.google.com slash home. And this is my account on Stadia right here. And so, and I can, so, and then I have one friend on here, my brother. What? And so, yeah, I can change my avatar anytime. It won't let you change your name after you've already made it. So manage your account. I can change my avatar. It just redirected me. Stadia. So yeah, I can manage my Stadia picture, but I cannot do my name. So say so you name an avatar. Yeah, I need to change your name, contact up. It looks like you can't change your name very easily. So I can change my picture very easily though. Uh, I'm just going to go with this triangle with the fire. Right there. It's, so, you can see it here. It's the triangle with the fire. So, then it automatically puts it here. So then, I can go to my games. I have uh, my free subscription of Stadia Pro. So I can claim... So if I go to the store and go to Stadia Pro Games, see all, I can get all of these games for as long as I have Stadia Pro. Um, I'm just claiming to my pretty much favorite games, except none of these, except for Destiny 2, probably, have been on Stadia. So, and I'm going to be using my Switch controllers. Because I couldn't really buy a Stadia controller. So, all you have to do is go to my Bluetooth settings. And, I have to start pairing this. And, it's connecting. And, when I see that stop bouncing, that means it's connected. And then I want to connect this one. This one has a very weird way of saying it's connected this home button starts glowing blue and that's I guess how you know that it's connected and so now I'm going to X out of my settings so I'm going to play stacks on stacks on stacks for you because that's probably my favorite game on Stadia and this is just a reminder I didn't have to download anything see look I'll, I just press the play button and now it's showing me the thing starts loading for a little bit but then it comes right back up it comes right up sex and sex and sex and this is not on my computer this is on a computer somewhere else and uh, see look i'm this is so easy i'm just it's so fast continue this is my account and so so this is my Stacks on stacks on stacks. I'm gonna play this level for you. Because I cannot figure out how to beat it. So yeah, it gives me a goal. This isn't on my computer, which is amazing. Like, I'm gaming. This isn't even on my computer. And it's so high quality. Oh, and you can play like mini games on here. So it's super like, Stadia is so high quality, it's just unbelievable that this isn't on my computer. Game may stop because your connection isn't stable. That's because my Wi-Fi network is not that good. But, like, still, this is amazing for the Wi-Fi network I have. Like... Like, my controllers... Are connecting to this computer which is connecting to a game center 
probably miles away. Like, it's a little bit delayed, but this is coming from something miles away, which is very hard to believe. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have, this is like PC gaming on, need to have a better connection to play. Well, I guess I can't play anything, but really any controllers will work with Stadia, as long as you connect your controllers to the device you wanna play on. So, see look, I was just playing this in my Chrome browser right now. This is my Chrome browser, and that's how good the quality was. So, they also have extended Stadia to any supported smartphone. So, for example, the whole line of Pixel smartphones by Google are supported for Stadia. The Some Samsung smartphones are compatible to play Stadia right on the app. I got Stadia on my smartphone, but it won't work. You have to... Um, you have to go in the Stadia app, and when you try and play the game, it just um, puts you like, please play on a supported device, which Chrome browsers on any device, on any laptop really with Chrome on it is supported. It has to be Chrome version, I think, 77 or higher. So, um... The Stadia controller is supposed to work really well with it. The Chrome version does not the Chrome version does not support wireless controllers yet in, unless you connect it directly to your Bluetooth and then play. But um they're working on that because you can't yeah, you can't really connect the Stadia controller to a Chrome browser doesn't that really work? So yeah, they're working on improving that though. So also, I can go to the store. You can get all these really new games. So let's see some of the games you can get on Stadia. Borderlands 3, you can get Just Dance, Metro Exodus, Metro Exodus, Red Dead Redemption 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Wow, that's a lot of games. But <laughs> And then you can get free with Stadia Pro. Stacks on stacks on stacks, which is what I was just playing. Serious Sam Collection, SteamWorld Dig 2, SteamWorld Quest. Um, I've gotten SteamWorld Dig 2, but I haven't really liked it. Split Link is very fun. Destiny 2, I've gotten it, but I don't really understand it. And Grid, Guilt, Thumper. These are all games you can get free with Stadia Pro, which I have Stadia Pro for a little while. And you've got in, and you've got stuff like NBA 2K20, Mortal Kombat 11. There's just some amazing games on Stadia, and I think there's a new game. There's a new game on there. Whatever it's called. But, like, look at all these games. It's just, Stadia is amazing. And so, I've played Stadia a lot because I love it. I love Stadia. And I heard on the Stadia controller, you can access the Google Assistant and you can take screenshots. And you can... Do so many other things with the Stadia Pro controller, which I do not have. I just have my Nintendo Switch controllers because I could not afford to buy a Stadia controller. And when I disconnect my controllers, then the Stadia is going to be like, connect a controller. So, so yeah, I can connect any really controller to Stadia as long as you see link a controller just disconnected these so it's very 
controller linked. I wonder what that controller is. Yep, link it controller. So, yeah, Stadia is fun, and I really recommend it. I got all of this for free because I just used my... You can use really any gaming controller and a supported device. Um, You just connect it, and you launch a game, and it's there. You can get a free trial of Stadia Pro, which I have right now, and it's very... Stadia Pro is awesome. So, thank you for watching Triggs Tech on Stadia. I really recommend Stadia, and I think you should try it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Please like and subscribe.